Today we're going to look at the overview of anatomy. So in your lab manual component, which is on the CD in the lab kit, if you would find the section that's entitled an overview of anatomy, it's about 20 pages long and we're going to look at this in sections. So to begin, you need some materials and it's pretty simple. A mirror is suggested, although not required. Your textbook, internet access if you have that, again, not required. A kitchen knife, and you'll see why, because then we're going to cut up some potatoes later on. Some paper towels, and if you have access to someone else in your house, a volunteer to help, help you discover some of the anatomical position and um, landmarks that we can find on the human body, and a marker also. So those are the materials that you need, and it is listed in your guide, so I'm just give, I'm going to give you a little overview today. Anatomy and physiology, those are two terms that you're going to hear quite a lot in this course. And so we need to think about the difference. Anatomy would be the location or the landmark in the body. And physiology would be how that works. And you'll see that there's a theme that form follows function. So when we think about an activity or a movement or a particular function inside the human body of an organ or an organ system, we'll see that the structure and the function will really correspond with each other. So they show you an image of an MRI, a magnetic resonance image of a human knee, and I'm sure you've heard about um, having knee replacements and things. Now, certainly we're not going to do a knee replacement after this course, but we need to have some basic um, anatomy references or anatomical references. And the first thing we want to discover or talk about is anatomical position. So we use anatomical position in order that we can discuss and describe a particular situation with each other and we know that we're all talking about this in the same way and this might be particularly useful if we are doing something like a knee replacement or a surgery so that we always understand left and right and um, of course those things would have their own details but the anatomical position of the human body is standing so it says erect with the feet shoulder width apart so you can try this at home your toes of course are pointing forward your arms are by your sides with the palms forward. So when you think about that position, you can see that there's a figure that's located um, in your manual. And uh, what we're going to be doing once we discover the anatomical position is considering some of the landmarks in the human body. And for example, anterior would be what we think of on the front side of the body and posterior on the back side. You've probably heard those terms before, but we're going to get a little bit more technical with our language today. So first, if you would look through and um, sort of take a look at that anatomical position, and when we use the words left and right, we are thinking of anatomical position. So if you're stuck you know, during an exam and you have to kind of concentrate, put your palms forward and think about anatomical position, and it is left and right according to what you would think of on your own body. So anatomical position. 